Do you want to learn how to invest in real estate? Well, today, that's exactly what we're going to be talking about. Video. My name is Umar Khan. I'm a 21 year old real estate investor and I created this channel to promote financial literacy. So let's jump right into the video. Something that everyone's been asking me is, Umar, how'd you do it? How'd you get your first investment property? They're, they're surprised at the fact, especially people my own age have been messaging me on Instagram and I've been replying and giving them some, some easy steps. So I thought it'd be great to make this into video and give value to the masses so everyone can learn how you can get started literally today. Because here's the thing, guys. It's not as simple as you go out and buy real estate. It's actually a little bit of a process. And the first thing we have to talk about is funding. Funding's number one because there's a very good chance you don't have cash ready to invest, meaning you probably can't buy a home all alone in cash. Even if you're talking about smaller, cheaper homes, like a hundred thousand to two hundred thousand dollar range, a lot of people just don't have that kind of money sitting around. So in that case, you're going to have to get a mortgage, a typical funding way. Now folks don't get it twisted. There are a lot of other options of funding like um, seller financing or private money, but let's just talk about conventional, easy to do getting a, a mortgage at a bank. What does it take for you to get a mortgage at a bank? So it's actually not as hard as you may think it is, but it's also not that easy either. They kind of complicate the process, but essentially the first thing you need is a two year experience in an industry. Now that could be you're working in retail for two years, you're working in a medical for two years. It just has to be two years of consistent um, like consistent work, but it doesn't have to necessarily be the same job. You could have been hopping from job to job, but the bank just wants to see that you've hit, you've stayed in this industry. It's not like you're working as a plumber, then you, you switched to becoming a mechanic, then you started uh, sales, and then you became um, a reception. They want to see consistency. Like they want to see... Um, Two years in retail, for example, like myself, you know, I had two years in retail and this folks, it's nothing to get twisted about. You could do this very early. And here's a trick, guys. You could start making decent money even without a degree. We could go into this in, in a whole nother video, but the, the reality is it's not as complicated as people make it seem. You could easily make a couple dollars more than minimum wage, which really adds up. Every dollar adds up, guys. And then you'll have a like an, a, you know, a, a decent amount of income to get approved for a loan. So step number one is get a job and stay in that industry for two years. And hopefully if you're watching this, you already have that. Perfect. Check that off the box because that's going to be major. And that's one of the keys to funding. I would highly recommend is before you, you, you figure out what price you want to buy in, go get a pre-approval. And what a pre-approval essentially is, is you sit down and all they're going to say is, hey, you make this much, your expenses are this much, therefore you can only qualify for this much. That way you know exactly what your buying criteria could be. And that way with those like, like, like crucial numbers, you could pick where and how much you're going to invest. Let's just say, for example, you go, like I go to the bank, I go, hey, I make this much, I have this many bills, what do I pre-approve for if I want to buy a property? And they might say, okay, Umar, based on your circumstances, we could pre-approve you for 300000 Perfect. Now, the maximum amount of property I could go buy would be up to $300,000, which is essential because then there's no point of you going looking at a house for $400,000 because you can't buy it. Like you literally can't, you're gonna need to get a co-signer, it's gonna get messy. Now that you have the mortgage details all sorted out, the next thing is gonna be, you're gonna need between a five to 20% down payment. Now, if you're gonna be investing out of your area, you're probably not gonna be able to do 5% because you can't actually live there. And to get a 5% loan, you actually physically have to be living there. Um, so you need to get a large unit. You need to get a duplex, triplex, or you'd be have to, or you get into the student rental market, which is pretty awesome, where you live in the room and rent out all the other rooms, rooms to students, which is another amazing way to start. And if you can't actually live there, you're gonna need to put twenty percent down as an as an investment loan, and that way you don't need to pay CMHC, which is like a mortgage insurance, and all that stuff is out of the way. So your next step is you save five to twenty percent down. Okay, so now you have two years in the industry, you're pre-approved, so you know how much you qualify for. You don't actually have to be pre-approved, but you understand how much you qualify for. And the third step is you have the, the let's just say 20% down to be safe, but if you know you could house hack, you got 5% down. Your next crucial thing is your money has to be seasoned. Now, what does that mean? The bank doesn't want to see money popping out of nowhere. The money has to be in your account for 90 days. So if you save this down payment, hopefully you're doing it in a strategic way. Don't like if you know you're going to be investing in real estate in the next three months. Don't save your money inside of um, a savings. Like don't save your money inside of the stock market. Save your money in cash because the bank is going to want to see like a 90 day paper trail. They want to see where the money came from, how long you had it, and if you're all putting in that same account, it's just going to make your life so much easier, which I highly recommend. If you don't, there's still alternate options. There's always ways around this, folks. Find a good mortgage agent. They'll guide you through all of this. I didn't have a good mortgage agent, but I had some good friends that are in the mortgage 
storage industry. So it was really easy for me to understand these things. But that's really crucial. Now your fifth most crucial step, if you want to be a successful real estate investor, and the key is successful. You could invest in any, like you buying a property will be, and you'd be make you an investor. But if you want to be a successful real estate investor, you need to find the right deal. People will tell you you can't find deals on the MLS, but that's BS. I did it. It's like I'm not starting to say it's easy or not to say it's very difficult, but you could find deals, folks. There's the MLS, which is uh, which just means um, the listing services, like going to realtor.ca. There's private deals, meaning people having signs outside their door, home for sale, going on Kijiji. Uh, uh, um, they like to call it fizzbos in the real estate in industry, but for sale by owners. But it's also something called wholesalers, where these wholesalers, what they do is they buy the homes on contract and they sell them. The cool thing about when you buy a deal with a wholesaler is you typically are going to walk into a little bit of appreciation which is key here's the secret guys there's a little bit secret sauce to this game and that's equity when you buy a deal and it has equity in it it just makes your deal that much more sweeter because you bu you buy a property for a hundred thousand but it's actually worth 120 you're getting that 20k for free which is really really important just as much as i love dividend stocks i love equity because it's a really cool way for you to start making your money fast right because you buy the property and you already made money on that deal which is crucial step number five is finding the right deal. Now, folks, that's basically it. That's all you need to know if you want to get started. Obviously, there's going to be more broken down videos in each of these topics and how to get involved. But if you have questions, you're really not ready, go ahead, shoot me a DM or drop a comment down below and I'll go answer down there. But that's basically it, folks. First, get your two years down solid. Make sure you're on that. Two, make sure you know how much you qualify for. Like, what could your income get you? Three, have your, your down payment 5 to 20% depending on your situation. Four, making sure that money's been seasoned for 90 days. And five, find the right deal. And that's literally it, folks. Literally, once you get to step number five, you can own a property within the next 30 days. That's what I did. I closed, I, I followed all the steps. And just like I told you guys, went to college, worked for two years, saved the money, 90, uh, 90 day um, money gets seasoned for 90 days, find the right deal, close in 30 days. And when you're ready like that, you have all your paperwork, everything's legit, you can literally close in 30 days, right? It's it's not it's not a matter if you, it's you can. So folks, I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, please drop them down below. If you if you want to make it more personal, shoot me a DM. We can have a little chat. But I'm really excited, folks. Uh, ever since um, I got started in this journey and got interested in, in investing in real estate, I was waiting for this moment for me to be an investor so I could give back to the community and tell them my ways and show up my struggles because it's not as, as easy as people make it seem, but it's also not that hard. It's achievable for anybody. And literally, guys, I'm 21 years old. I don't have rich parents. I don't have a fancy degree. I'm just a normal, like an average guy the only difference is i took my time to understand and learn and have some personal development go out and network with people and literally folks you see the little things that you could start implementing today is going to help you a crucial thing I'd, I'd urge you to check out is if you guys aren't ready if you guys are still in step number one where you need that two-year work experience watch this video up here because this video talks about seven ways to create passive income start over there that's going to help you get disciplined and that's going to put you on on a path of, of learning like having financial literacy but also guys start reading like i need to make a, a video dedicated to books i recommend reading on getting started because books are so important guys and on the top of my head just uh rich dad poor dad by robert kiyosaki the compound effect by darren hardy like just those two books alone are, are, have tremendous value right uh the richest man in babylon these three books alone could like give you so much value you can literally just keep reading them over and over again and i'm gonna throw in another one in there just because but thinking grow rich by napoleon hill th that one's a little complicated i read three times and it still doesn't 100 make sense because it's a really complicated book but literally folks start reading start investing in yourself today so tomorrow you can invest in some more monetary things that make money come in but that's it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed if you guys enjoyed this content do make sure you like and hit that subscribe button it helps this video a lot and until next time folks i'll see you on the next one